welcome to the very edge of the Lincolnshire Wolds and this is my first problem as I walk towards West Keel. Which way to go? I'll go this way. Oh, I don't know. Run the gauntlet. Today's walk started from Old Bolingbroke and we'll be uh, having a look around its castle ruins at the very end of the walk. We're now heading to West Kill Church. We've just come up Kill Hill. And it's fantastic to get an opportunity to walk in the week. This is the end of the footpath, it's a no through route, but it's worth taking the detour of about half a mile to get these views. This is where Lincolnshire gets its title of being flat as we're looking south to Boston. Well that may be, but the Lincolnshire Wolds is definitely a hidden gem. Made it to the church at West Keel. See the gargoyles right at the top there. Church dates back to the 13th century. The view's starting to open up now, the mist is dispersing. Snow drops starting to make an appearance. And what a view as we look across at West Keel Church. and the mist starting to burn off. Don't know if you can make out the bench. It says in memory of Leonard Thomas Hatton, who did his coast to coast walk. It's got on the west coast there, St. Bees. I've been there two or three times. Across to the North York Moors, and it obviously finishes in Robin Hood's Bay. And that is my dream to do that walk one day, coast to coast just reached Wheelabout Wood, probably just two miles now back to the castle. You can usually spot buzzards in this area. And I've got a bit of gorse in flower. Got very lucky with the weather. As I said earlier, it's gonna be Storm Dennis tomorrow strong winds and rain all weekend again. Right on the southern edge of the Wolds and you can be treated with cracking views like that. Just soak that in. Might just make out the house tops where we started at Old Bolingbroke. Panning left. And that's the point, the hill you can see in the distance where we stood and looked back at Old Bolingbroke at the very start of the walk. Our last views looking down on the countryside of Old Bolingbroke. Just got the castle to show you in a few minutes. Just like to say thank you very much for watching, liking, and love the comments. Love to hear from you all. So bye for now. Now this is what they think the castle was like. It's built in 1220. And this 
it's just what's left the foundations had a moat round it Castle was made of Spilsby greenstone but wasn't very durable. And after the Battle of 1643 at Winsby, it was badly damaged. I think approximately Ten years later, the towers were pulled down anyway. It was the birthplace of one of our kings. This is how low it was on the outside of the castle. So any intruders would have quite a job to get in for a start. I think it was King Henry V who was born in Bolingbroke, but don't quote me on that. I know that they do have reenactments here in the summer months. Oliver Cromwell and his army that took the castle over and wrecked havoc would have been quite a sight in its day it's quite a big area